What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new. In this video, I'll be doing another order. Um, one of my teachers ordered this. Um, this is for, I believe she said her niece is getting married, and she's going to give her this for their wedding shower or something like that. So, here's this design. I made it. Um, just a little engraving with the words and their marriage date. So, there's that. And this person also wants a tray, like I posted on my Instagram, with the handles on the side. I'll give you more info about that later. But for now, we're going to get started on this. And I just need to export the toolpaths. I've already made those over here. And then we'll get this on the CNC. Okay, so this is the board for the plaque engraving, which you saw me do earlier in the video. I'm letting it, the glue dry. I just put it down here with the glue and the tape, as I usually do. Because it will take up most of the thing, I'll probably still try and put a holder on the edges if I can, but I don't know yet. So, here's this, and now I'm going to get started on the tray. It's going to be 24 by 18. Here's these boards, and I'll... A little bit more about that in a second. Okay, so I just cut these 24 inch pieces and I'll glue them together. There'll be five of them because five times 3.5 is 17.5. It's supposed to be 24 by 18, half inch off is, I think that's okay. So, glue them together like that and then we'll put a cross member across, make it all flat and some handles. So, let me glue this up. Alright, so I got all those boards cut and glued up. I reckon I got enough clamps on there. Uh, <laughs> so I'll wait for that glue to dry. And then the cross members, like I said, will be this way. And they'll have handles on them. It'll kind of help keep it flat and make it look nicer. Alright, I think this glue is set long enough. And I'm going to start this program now. Okay, there it is done. That went faster than I expected. So the time lapse didn't really even have time to catch anything. No, it took about 10 minutes. Um, so there it is. Um, sorry there's no time lapse. I really thought it would take longer than that. But uh, that looks pretty good to me. There was a little bit of chip out in the smaller areas because of the softer wood here. It would be in the middle of the tree. Alright guys, so the glue has dried for a little while. I'm hoping I got enough clamps on it and let it all sure how it's supposed to. That looks a little bit warped there. I can deal with that. Let me take all these clamps off real quick. Okay, so it's pretty good. You can see, I can feel the holes between the boards. I think I'm going to be able to sand that down. The main thing is this needs to be straight and this will have to fix that too. Um, I'm thinking this hut's going to be the back. Front because this person wanted to see the individual boards instead of making it all look like one thing. That'd be easier to do on this side, I believe. So that's what I'm gonna do. I need to cut the cross members for this, so let me measure, make sure how exactly big this is, and then I will get the saw out. Alright, so that's right at 17 and a quarter. So I'm gonna cut those boards a little bit proud of that. Just make sure I have enough and then I can sand them flush. But I'm gonna take my circular saw and cut that off there. I think that'll be easier than sanding it.
Okay, so that's what the cross members will look like when they go on, and the handles will be on those on there. But now I have a lot of sanding to do, and that's going to be really boring to watch, so I'm just going to skip that for y'all and show you what it looks like when I get done. Alright, so I just got done with the belt sander, getting all the high spots off. It doesn't look great at the moment, that's because the belt sander takes off more than you probably really want it to. But I'm coming back with the random orbit sander to kind of clean up the high spots left by the belt sander, and then I'll come back with the finishing sander and clean up whatever marks are left by this, make it all smooth, look nice, and then I'll put that water resistant finish on it. And that should be good for it. So I'll bring you back after some more sanding and give you guys another update. All right, so that's a lot smoother now that the orbit sander has done its thing. Before I finish sand it, I'm going to make the boards pop out because this person wanted to see the boards individually instead of the whole thing. So I'm going to use this triangle file and I'm going to go on the seam of each board. I'm just going to make a little chamfer on each glue joint. And that'll make the boards pop out a little more and make it just, you know, make the boards look separate from each other. So. That's gonna take a little while, so I'm gonna start on that now. Okay, and right there's where I'm gonna stop for today. You can see the little grooves there. You can now see each individual board. And I think that looks pretty good. I like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna stop there for the day, and then tomorrow I'll pick up here. Okay, it's uh, a couple of days from the last time I filmed. It was really cold yesterday and a lot of stuff to do. So I didn't work on this any. So I need to finish sand this with this, um, pretty much just vibrates 200 grits um, or 200 grit sandpaper not grits um, just make it all smooth and nice and uh, soft and then I will glue the cross members on and then I'll sand everything flush with those make sure those are 90 degrees I'll go in more depth about that when I do it but I'm gonna sand this and again I won't show you all because that's really boring to watch all right so I just got done sanding it's pretty smooth compared to that which has not been sanded and then I will go over these once they're dry and glued down before I put the handles on just make everything smooth again so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my square like this and then make sure these boards are squared with the edges of the tray and just make it look nicer and it's better than eyeballing it so I'm going to glue these down and I'm going to shoot a little nail through the back of it to make sure it stays in. Um, you probably get away with just glue, I just want to make sure. So I'm going to go get all that set up. Also when you're gluing, you may have seen me do it when I was doing these, but you want to cover as much surface as you can. So when you're gluing, go in like a, put the glue down in a uh, pattern like this. Then you want to take your finger or something and spread it out over every single surface you can get. So that way you have maximum um, service area that you can hold down with the glue and it lasts a lot longer that way.
All right, so it's been about 24 hours since I let this glue dry and glue this all up yesterday. I'm gonna take all these clamps off, clamps off, make sure these boards stay where they're supposed to be, and then I'm gonna get my sander and make all these edges nice and clean. Because as you can kind of see, there's some overlap, and I don't want that. It needs to be all flush with everything. So I'll bring you guys back. I'll take the clamps off, get you another look at. It. Okay, that looks pretty good. All the clamps are off and the board just over where they're supposed to be. That's always a good thing. Um, got a little bit of glue leakage. Um, you can see it right there too. I'll clean that up after I get done sanding it. But I need to take off this excess up here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna use the corner of this belt sander and just take off everything that I need to take off. Okay, so I sanded all those things down. Everything's all flush. It feels nice. Um, made a lot of sawdust. <coughs> Perfect timing. Uh, yeah, anyway. So, what I'm going to do now, some of these edges are pretty sharp. And since this is going to a customer, I don't want them hurting themselves on this, so I'm going to take this little plane here. I'm going to chamfer the edges, um, or what edges I can get to, and just kind of make it softer and smoother and less sharp. And it may look a little better that way too. So. So I went ahead and uh, finished sanded it while I finished chamfering it. You can kind of see that bevel. It's not a huge bevel, not enough to notice really, but just enough to make it safer. So it looks like some of these areas did not get a nail in them. You can see that one right there. Then you go over here and there's like a little air pocket. There's not a nail there. So I'm gonna re-nail these back boards. They don't really need it, I don't think. They just the more security. Okay, now as you can see, there are nails. <clears throat> I get sawdust off my hand. All in there now. So that should be a lot more secure. I'm gonna spray it off with the air as well and spray that off with the air, clean it up. It's always a good idea to take care of your tools. Um, it'll last longer that way. Anyway, so I'm gonna spray everything off and then I'll waterproof this today. And once that dries, I'll put on the handles and this will be done. And uh, I'll go over there and show you that plaque one more time. I need to do something to that before we're done with it. I just realized I forgot to show you guys the uh, where I chiseled out the glue joints. So as you can see, there is no more glue along the seams on this side either. And I just basically took a chisel and just cleaned it out. Okay, and now this is ready for the waterproofing spray. Okay, I sprayed this thing yesterday with the waterproofing stuff. Looks pretty good, I would say. Um, so what I need to do now is install a hanger on the back so that this can hang. So, let me do that. But, but basically what I did was I measured how long this was, found the middle point, and put this middle part in the middle point and then just kind of screwed it down. And you got to make sure also that it's the parallel side and perpendicular with that side. 
So that's what I did. You can now hang this on a wall if you wanted to. So there it is. This is done now. So all I have left to do is wait for that to dry. Well, I'm saying that this tray is leaned up against the garbage can. And then screw the uh, handles onto that, and then both of these will be done. And I'll hopefully get these delivered to my teacher on Monday. Alright, so this thing is dried. It's all pretty much done. Feels really nice and soft. And uh, it looks really good. So, as you've probably seen just a second ago, I got these handles I need to put on here and here. I'll need to center those, and I'm going to be using these measuring calipers. Um, I got these... I got the idea for these from uh, Andy Rawls. He's a woodworker on YouTube as well. He uses these quite often in his videos, and they're actually very nice to have. So, if you're interested in getting some of those, go to Amazon. Get some uh, measuring calipers, I think is what they are. Or marking calipers, something like that. They're really nice to have. And uh, I'll show you how I use those in a moment. Okay, so I've set this one to the width of the center of those holes and I've set this one to the to this distance so I can measure to the middle here and then measure from the middle here actually I probably should get another one and do something different but I'm gonna make sure these are in the middle and I will show you how I do that in a second I've done it before but I don't quite remember how I did it so let me refigure that out okay I don't know if y'all can see that but there's these two little dots right here this was the midpoint logging board, and this is the midpoint lined up with that of the board crossways. So this is the midpoint of the board. So I'm going to do actually is I'm going to change this to be half the distance of this hole. So it'll be from this hole to the middle of this, and this one will be from one of these holes to the middle of this. So that way I can just line it up with this and then mark the holes on either side. Okay, and now you can see that these, there are little holes, maybe you can see that, I don't know, right in the middle where these things need to be drilled. So let me drill those. Alright, it's done. Um, these handles look pretty good They're in the middle. They're supposed to be and it's pretty stable, strong. This will last a long time. Um, obviously this is too big to mail, so this person is a uh, local. It's one of my teachers actually. I don't know if I've said that already in this video. But hopefully when I deliver this to them tomorrow, they will let me film like a reaction of them getting it. Um, so if they do, I'll insert that here.
I like it. Thank you. <laughs> Very cute. I'm going to like that. That's awesome. Now I've got to like cook something so I can serve it to people. Thank you very much. I like it. Was this a pain of, was this a pain of to me? No. So if I asked you for more of them, you would just like pay it? Okay. I'm going to do that. That's a good wedding present. What do you think? For people? Very good. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. So I assume y'all just saw her reaction. She seemed happy, I hope. Um, so thanks for watching this video. Um, again, if you want to order any of this stuff, this is my last order for now. Um, DM me on my Instagram so you can uh, follow my Instagram at Brewington underscore woodworking. I'm trying to post there almost every day, you know. Um, so DM me on there if you want something made with the CNC or by me, like by hand, like this. Um, also, let me know in the comments if you like me explaining what I'm doing or you just want to see me do it. So, I can do either one. Um, but I do like to explain what I'm doing because I feel like that helps some of y'all learn. If y'all are just starting in woodworking, it's helping some of y'all learn this. But um, obviously, I don't know what kind of people are watching this channel because I don't have a whole lot of viewers and I don't have a demographic quite yet. So,. Let me know what you want to see. If you want to see the just the build video, if you want to have me explain it, or if you want to have the build video and a separate video of me just voicing it over, I guess, kind of like Andy Rawls does. Um, just let me know about that. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.